down for third reading next sitting day. And we call now on Government Order of the Day number two. Plumbers, gas fitters and drain layers amendment bill second reading. Honourable Morris Williamson. Speaker, I move the second reading of the Plumbers, Gas Fitters, Drain Layers Amendment Bill. And Mr Speaker, can I say how enormously disappointed I am in the Labour Party for having opposed this at Select Committee and I assume going to vote against it now because I want to give members of the public a little bit of a background about this bill so they understand why it's here. Raymond Ho, the Labour Party spokesman, is saying it's Morris Williamson cleaning up one of the messes he's made. Well, let's get some facts on the table, sir. This bill is about industry regulation. And, sir, there are a number of industry regulators out there in the building and construction sector, like the Electrical Workers Registration Board, uh, like the Architects Registration Board, and there are a number of regulators out there that aren't in the building sector. For example, the Civil Aviation, who regulate pilots and so on, and, and the Medical Council, who regulate the performance of doctors. So New Zealanders fully expect there to be a regulator that controls behaviour. And, sir, in every one of the industries that's out there, the ones that I've just mentioned, electrical workers, registration, architects, civil aviation and so on, those bodies have the right to go after both licensed practitioners but also non-licensed practitioners. Imagine if the CAA could only discipline someone who had a pilot's licence but they couldn't touch someone who was flying a 747 around every day who didn't have a licence. It would be just nonsensical. And imagine if, uh, for example, the Medical Council could deal to you if you were a licensed doctor, but if you were just doing some do-it-yourself brain surgery in your backyard, just as a friend, they couldn't touch you. Well, guess what? The Labor government passed some legislation in 2006. It was the Labor government who did it. I'm sorry I have to get into the attack here, sir. I was hoping to work genteelly through this. I was quite keen, quite keen on trying to take this calmly. I even sent the bill off to a select committee that we didn't have a majority on, hoping that Ruth Dyson, who is normally a very good chair, would shepherd this through quite calmly and we'd get it through. Because the Labor government cocked up, sir. In 2006, they passed a bill which didn't allow the Plumbers, Gas Fitters and Drain Layers Board to take action against non-licensed practitioners. The Act that is currently in effect says you can go after those who are licensed and registered, but if somebody just wants to arrive from overseas and say, oh, I don't have any qualifications, but I'll do some gas fitting, gets out there with his little Bunsen burner and starts wiring up some gas tubing, the Plumbers, Gas Fitters and Drain Layers Board, according to the current legislation, can't touch that person. Can't touch them. And I don't think there is a single New Zealander who thinks that makes sense. So I had a look at, I had a look at the drafting instructions for the bill in 2006. I even had a look at the explanatory notes. And the government, sir, the Labor government of the day, actually did intend for this legislation to cover both licensed and unlicensed. In other words, anybody who was practising in the plumbing, gas fitting and drain laying sector, the Act was supposed to allow the Plumbers, Gas Fitters and Drain Layers Board the power to go after them. But it was a mistake in the wording. Oh, right. And no one picked it up and I have to say I became the Minister in 2008 and blissfully went on about my life not worrying about the Plumbers, Gas Fitters and Drain Layers Act of 2006 until, sir, it was discovered and it went to the regs review and there's been a complaint to the Ombudsman and so on and the, and the Auditor General's look. And it turns out that there is a mistake in the wording and it is not legal for the plumbers and gas fitters to have been charging levies and fees to their licensed practitioners but using that money to go after rat bags who are not licensed. They can go after those that are. So yes, sir, this little five clause, of which three of them are just basically title and what act it applies to, so really only two clauses in the bill that's going through here, is retrospective. And I'm one of the most ardent people opposed to retrospective legislation there are, except if it's validating what everyone had always thought was the case. 
Everybody thought the plumbers, gas fitters and drain layers board had the right to go after cowboys. Sir, there was an explosion in the pizza hut in Nelson that nearly killed people. Appalling work done by it, and I'm hoping the Labor government are on, on the side of public, the Labor opposition, sorry, the Labor government at the time, are in favour of public safety and don't want practitioners like that to get away scot-free. So what am I bringing this little piece of tidy up cleanup to fix up the Labor government's bill, the, their, their act of 2006, which forgot to put the wording in about non-licensed practitioners as well. And Raymond Ho, that, that sort of Mensa genius on the Labor Party side, is now claiming this is Williamson cleaning up his mess. Well, no, it's not, sir. This is cleaning up the Labor government's legislation of 2006. Now Mr Ho's fallen trap or foul of a little group out there called the Plumbers Federation. Now what has been portrayed here, and I'm sure members from the parliament on the other side will claim it, there are two large organisations out there representing these plumbers. One's called the Master Plumbers Federation and the other's called, called the, the Plumbers Federation and the other's the Master Plumbers whatever. Well the Federation, this little group of people, how do you get to be a member of it? You sign up to their email. You just subscribe to their email. Several of the officials in the Ministry of uh, Business, Innovation and Employment already are members of this little federation simply because they got a copy of their email. And, sir, these people are out there. And Raymond Ho, listen to this, sir. This is where it gets really good. Raymond Ho is going to move an amendment when we get to the committee stage in SOP that the fees that are collected now don't go to the board but they go off to this little group, this little group called the Federal. Trevor Mallard has got no credibility left if he supports Raymond Ho's amendment, that this money collected would go off to the Federation. He wants to pay it off to this handful of malcontents. And I want to hear from David Parker and David Shearer. David Parker is supposedly the keeper of the purse for the Labor Party. And what Raymond Ho is advocating is that we shouldn't make it retrospective, which would then make the Plumbers, Gas Fitters and Drain Layers Board insolvent. What we should do is take it out of general taxation. How fiscally irresponsible is that? There isn't another, no, there isn't another industry regulator who doesn't collect fees from its members to pay for the enforcement. And somehow we're going to say to this one, no, that's all right, the, the Minister of Finance can dig into the revenue somehow and pay for it. Oh, and by the way, he won't actually pay it to the Plumbers and Gas Fitters and Drain Layers Board who do the regulating. We'll pay it off to a handful of people who are the malcontents who come to every meeting and complain about things. We'll ask the Master Plumbers uh, what they think, sir. Master Plumbers are represent about 70% of all people and the, they think this is a legitimate thing to do because it means we can actually take some control over the behaviour of those cowboys out there. So, unless this is passed, the fees that have been collected in the past would be invalid and have to be refunded, so that's why it's retrospective. And the second clause that's really relevant in this is it says going forward from here that the, master plum that the Plumbers, Gas Fitters and Drain Layers Board can use those fees to go after cowboys. Because that's as simple as it can be in a nutshell, sir. If any one person out there decides, well, I don't know, I'm out of work, don't know what I'm going to do, I might go and do some gas fitting, haven't got any qualifications, I don't know about leaks, I don't know about explosions, we'll have a crack at it. Well, under the current law, the Plumbers, Gas Fitters and Drain Layers Board couldn't go after them, can't touch them. And I don't think that there's a single member of this House that think that's acceptable, and I'm disappointed even in the Greens. Because the Greens during the first reading said, Holly Walker said, well, we support in principle what the Minister's doing here, but he's doing it too quickly. So I immediately gave the Select Committee more time. I said, OK, a week is too tough. I understand that. Let's go to a three-week period where you can hear all the submissions, because this has to be done, sir. It has to be done, or otherwise you are advocating having the rule of the jungle out there in the gas fitting, and believe me, even in the plumbing area where a lot of public safety can be put at risk, especially in some high-rise buildings. And I want to know that people who are actually practitioners in that field are actually legitimate, are skilled and competent at a certain level, and if they're not, they can be gone after. And there isn't, as I said earlier on, sir, there isn't another industry in this country where we wouldn't have that. 
That's what I want to have in this area, sir, and I'm really disappointed. I'm hopeful the Labour Party will actually see some light, have a chat to Raymond Ho out in the back room and say, actually, I think you got this one wrong, old son. You look, I don't know quite why he's got it wrong. He somehow listened to the Plumbers Federation. This is a bill that has to be done. It is Labour's mess from 2006 we're cleaning up, sir. I hope this Parliament will support it. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Mr Speaker. Honourable Ruth Dyson. Mr Speaker, I want to first of all acknowledge and thank the Minister for his 